Number 2, the equation is 25x squared plus 4y squared equals 100. First, reduce the equation in standard form. The right-hand side of the standard equation of an ellipse should be equal to 1. Therefore, we need to divide this equation by 100. So we have x squared over 4, 25 over 100 is 1 fourth, 25 divided by 25 is 1, and 100 divided by 25 is 4. Plus, 4y squared over 100 is y squared over 25. 4 over 100 is 1 over 25. 4 divided by 4 is 1, and 100 divided by 4 is 25 equals 1. Thus, the center is at the origin. Letter B, the principal axis is the y-axis since the denominator is greater in y squared term. The equation is of this form. A is greater in y. These are the vertices, co-vertices, foci, directrices, and latus rectum. But first, we need to find the value of A, B, and C. A squared is equal to 25 and B squared is 4. So A is equal to 5. Square root of 25 is 5. While B is equal to 2. Square root of 4 is 2. So the vertices are 0 plus and minus 5, the value of A, which means the vertices are 0, positive 5, and 0, negative 5. While the co-vertices are plus and minus B, 0, or plus and minus 2, 0. So the co-vertices are 2, 0, and negative 2, 0. To find the foci, first solve for C. A squared is 25 and B squared is 4. The square root of 25 minus 4 is square root of 21. So C is equal to square root of 21 or 4.58 in decimal. The foci are 0 plus and minus square root of 21, which are 0 positive square root of 21 and 0 negative square root of 21. The length of the major axis is 2 times 5, the value of A, which is equal to 10. While the length of the minor axis is 2B, where B is equal to 2. So 2 times 2 is 4. The eccentricity is equal to C over A, where C is equal to square root of 21 and A is equal to 5. And this is approximately equal to 0 0.92. The equations of the directrices are Y equals plus and minus A squared over C. The equation is y since the denominator of the y squared term is greater than the denominator of the x squared term. Thus, the directrices are plus and minus 25, which is the value of a squared, over square root of 21, the value of c. Rationalize the denominator, so we multiply the numerator and denominator by square root of 21. 25 times square root of 21 is 25 square root of 21, and square root of 21 times square root of 21 is 21. We can just cross out the radical sign and copy the radicand 21. This is approximately equal to 5.46. While the length of the latus rectum is 2b squared over a, b squared is equal to 4 and a is 5. So 2 times 4 is 8 over 5. We can now sketch the graph of this equation with center at the origin. Vertices 0 positive 5 and 0 negative 5 with co-vertices positive 2 0 and negative 2 0. Connect the points and we now have the graph of an ellipse. The foci, 0 positive square root of 21, is located here, while 0 negative square root of 21 is located here. And the directrices are positive 5.46 and negative 5.46. The length of each latus rectum is 8 over 5 or 1.6. And this is the graph of x squared over 4 plus y squared over 25 equals 1. Another example, 
Find the standard equation of the ellipse centered at the origin with a focus of negative 3, 0 and vertex 6, 0. In this problem, the equation is no longer given. So we need to find the standard equation of the ellipse given one of its vertices and foci. First, let us plot these points. The center is at the origin. One of the vertices has coordinates 6, 0 and the focus at negative 3, 0. Remember that the principal axis of an ellipse is the line which contains the center, a focus or a vertex of the ellipse. Since the focus, the center, and the vertex are located on the x-axis, we use the equation x squared over a squared plus y squared over b squared equals 1. Since one of the vertices has coordinates 6, 0, the other point is negative 6, 0. Thus, a is equal to 6. The distance from the center to this point is 6 units and from the center to this point is also 6 units. That is why A is equal to 6. And since one of the foci has coordinates negative 3, 0, the other point is positive 3, 0. Thus, C is equal to 3. The distance from the center to one of the foci is 3 units. Therefore, C is equal to 3. To determine the equation of an ellipse, we need the value of b. Take note that a represents the vertices, b the co-vertices, and c the foci. To solve for b, remember that c is equal to the square root of a squared minus b squared, or c squared equals a squared minus b squared. Since we have a and c, we can solve for b where a is equal to 6 and c is equal to 3. Simplify, 3 squared is 9 and 6 squared is 36. So b squared is equal to 36 minus 9. We move positive 9 to the right-hand side of the equation. Thus, 36 minus 9 is 27. b squared is 27. Take the square root of 27. So b is equal to 3 square root of 3. 9 times 3 is 27, square root of 9 is 3, and just copy square root of 3. Therefore, b is equal to 3 square root of 3. We can now determine the standard equation of the ellipse. a squared is 36, 6 times 6 is 36, and b squared is equal to 27, or 3 square root of 3 times 3 square root of 3 is equal to 27. Therefore, the standard equation of the ellipse is x squared over 36 plus y squared over 27 equals 1. In general, we use this equation if one of these is missing. b squared is equal to a squared minus c squared. Transpose c squared to the right-hand side of the equation. But if the value of a is missing, we use a squared equals c squared plus b squared. Since a squared is already positive, ikakapi na lang natin ito. And we need to move b squared to the other side. Kaya from negative b squared to positive b squared. So ito ang gagamitin natin if a, b, or c is missing. Let us have another example. Find the standard equation of the ellipse centered at the origin with a foci at 0, 3, 0, negative 3, and major axis equals 10. First, we need to determine the principal axis. The principal axis or focal axis contains the center, the focus, or the vertex. Let us plot these points. The center is at the origin. 0, 3 is located here and 0, negative 3 is located here. The ellipse has the foci on the y-axis. So we use the equation x squared over b squared plus y squared over a squared equals 1. The denominator of y squared term is greater than the denominator of x squared term since the principal axis is the y-axis. Since meron tayong foci, c is equal to 3. The distance from the center to any of these points is 3 units. However, to determine the equation of the ellipse, we need a and b. 
In the given problem, the major axis is equal to 10, and the length of major axis is 2a. If the major axis is equal to 10, ano ang minultiply sa 2, kaya naging 10. So we divide the equation by 2. Thus, a is equal to 5. 10 divided by 2 is 5. Ang kailangan na lang natin ay ang value ng b. And we can use this formula, b squared equals a squared minus c squared, where a is equal to 5 and c is equal to 3. Simplify, 5 squared is 25 and 3 squared is 9. 25 minus 9 is 16. Square root of 16 is 4. So b is equal to 4. Therefore, the standard equation of the ellipse is x squared over 16, 4 squared is 16, plus y squared over 25, 5 squared is 25, equals 1. Another example. Number 5, find the standard equation of the ellipse with center at the origin with a focus 6, 0 and eccentricity equals 2 thirds. First, Plot the center and the focus, 6, 0. Since the focus is located on the x-axis, the equation is x squared over a squared plus y squared over b squared equals 1. The denominator of the x squared term is greater than the denominator of the y squared term. The value of c is equal to 6. We still need to find the value of a and b. Recall that the eccentricity of an ellipse is equal to c over a. If e is equal to 2 thirds and c is equal to 6, we can solve for a. Cross multiply, 2 times a is 2a equals 6 times 3 is 18. Divide the equation by 2, thus a is equal to 9. 18 divided 2 is 9. To solve for b, Again, use the formula b squared equals a squared minus c squared, where a is equal to 9 and c is equal to 6. 9 squared is 81 and 6 squared is 36. 81 minus 36 is 45 and square root of 45 is 3 square root of 5. 9 times 5 is 45, square root of 9 is 3 and copy square root of 5. So b is equal to 3 square root of 5. Therefore, the equation of the ellipse is x squared over 81, 9 times 9 is 81, plus y squared over b squared is equal to 45. So we have here 45 equals 1. And this is the standard equation of the ellipse. So that is all about ellipse with center at the origin. In the next video, we will discuss the ellipse whose center is located at a particular point HK, not at the origin.